I'm so sick of this question. I'm so sick of this question. Y'all been asking me this for like five or six years. And I used to ignore it. And I used to go off on people. And I would yell and all that. I'm like, you know what? I ain't doing that no more. I'm just making a video. I'm going to just educate everybody on performing rights organizations. Do you need to go with BMI? Do you need to go with ASCAP? Or do you need to go with CSAC? You've been waiting for the answer. You wanted my opinion. Well, now I'm about to give it to you. Before I do that, you can click like, click share, comment, follow, save, subscribe, watch this entire video. I put a lot of work into these notes and make sure you watch another video of mine afterwards. Keep that session time rocking. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from group82university.com and right here I'm going to talk to you about the difference between BMI versus ASCAP versus CSAC. Performing rights organizations, what does that even mean? Every time a song gets played, what happens? Pond. Somebody gets paid. All over the world, music's getting played right now, somebody's getting paid. As an independent artist in Houston, Texas, how can I keep track with the millions of streams for my song Don't Sleep? I hire somebody else to do it. And that's what a performing right organization does. You hire them to collect your money whenever your song is played publicly. In a live venue, on the radio, on the streaming, on TV, and in film. That's all they do. That's it. Because any of these venues or radio stations or TV shows that want to use the music that's inside of the BMI ASCAP or CSAC catalog, they have to pay BMI ASCAP or CSAC a licensing fee. And when they pay them a licensing fee, they get this blanket license and anything that BMI ASCAP or CSAC owns, they can use however they feel the need to. Just making sure that they get paid in the process. It's no different than me paying Spotify $10 a month for me to go ahead and stream whatever music is inside the Spotify app, however many times I want to and they're gonna go and they're gonna pay the copyright holders or the artists whoever owns the music it's the exact same thing because of this spotify knows all our listening habits and all of our data and they can use that in a myriad of ways it's the same way with bmi ascap and csac they know where your songs are being played so they have data about your audience and about your music that you might not have and this is an outstanding way for you to get residual income in perpetuity every single quarter based on how well you market your music if you don't know how to market your music you sign up for my class how to market your music on social media it's originally $2,000. We got on sale for $1,000. You can get enrolled for 250 bucks. Get started right now. And like I said, I'll show you how to market your music, how to chart number one on iTunes, how to get millions of streams on Spotify, how to hire a team with no money, how to get paid from your music every single day. If those are things you want to know about, click the link in the bio on Instagram, get in the class. You're on YouTube, click that link below. Get enrolled in that class for only 250 bucks right now. If you're an artist, you need to register with these pros in order to collect your money. I'm going to go through each one. I'm going to start off with BMI. BMI is the largest largest pro out there. They got over a million songwriters in there. And in 2018, they issued over a billion dollars in publishing revenue, which shows that they're one of the heavy hitters in the industry, if not the heavy hitters. The great thing about BMI is if you're a songwriter, you can get in there for free. You don't have to pay anything. If you're an individual publisher, you have to pay $150. If you are a bigger publishing company, you got to pay $250. You sign a two-year contract to BMI for songwriters, and the payout speed is about five and a half months. BMI offers all types of camps and songwriting workshops and you get discounts on certain things but I'll be honest I'm with BMI and I don't use none of that stuff you're not going to use any of that stuff with any of these publishers because you just don't really need it all you need them to do is to collect your money and then send you a check all the other stuff's cool but you know they just offer that to make themselves look good it ain't really going to lead to nothing unless you get extremely lucky the second biggest performing rights organization that you're going to hear a lot about is ASCAP they got over 600,000 songwriters they also paid over a billion dollars in 2018 to them songwriters do have to pay to join ASCAP but it's only 50 bucks Publishers only got to pay 50 bucks, which is a little bit cheaper than what BMI is offering you. And you only have a one-year contract. The average payout for an ASCAP artist is about six and a half months, which to me is extremely long time. But the great thing about ASCAP and BMI has this too, they have their big expo. It's like a showcase where all the people in the music industry go out there, producers, singers, rappers, music industry professionals, a rs label heads, everybody's there going back and forth, jacking each other off, making everybody feel like they good in the music industry. It's a bunch of bullshit to keep it real. But for some of y'all, y'all like that. So maybe if that's what you want to do, you a network conference ass motherfucker, then go sign up for ASCAP. But like I said, I don't do any of that stuff. I don't see the point of it. I do all my stuff on social media. I just need y'all to send me the money. And finally, the last one is CSAC. They are hands down the smallest. They only got 30,000 songwriters. They've collected over $500 million total with only 30,000 songwriters, which is pretty good. The thing about CSAC is the membership is invitation only. You can't apply. You can't pay. They got to invite your ass. But once you're in, 
it is free of charge, which is great. And the payout speed is possibly 90 days, which is quicker than the other two. What's the point? The point is, if you're an independent artist, just sign up for one, man. You're probably not gonna get invited to CSAC, and ain't nothing wrong with that. BMI ain't no different than ASCAP. Just make sure you're getting your money, because there are four things that you need to have to get 99% of your money in the music business. You need to have a distributor, you need to have a performing rights organization, you need to have song trust, you need to have sound exchange. As long as you got those four, you're gonna get 99% of your money. We make this too difficult sometimes. We overthink it too much sometimes. Just go click, sign up for one, whichever one you think is great, and then do that. Because at the end of the day, this doesn't matter. What matters? Marketing your music. It don't matter who you signed up with, if your music ain't being played by nobody, it ain't gonna make no money. That's why you gotta get in the class how to market your music on social media. Originally two Gs. Half off right now for a thousand, but you can get enrolled and started for 250 bucks. You can get millions of streams on Spotify, I'll show you my Spotify strategy. You can chart number one on iTunes, I'll show you my iTunes charting strategy. I'll show you my YouTube strategy, Instagram strategy. I'll show you how I run my team. I'll show you how I make my content. I'll show you how I built my website. I'll show you how we decide our logo. I'll show you why we picked the color blue. I know for some of y'all are like, who cares? Big deal. These are things I show you inside of class because all of that leads to marketing, which leads to sales, which leads to performing right organization checks. I have gotten paid from BMI on average every three to four months for the past five years because of the systems that I put inside my class, how to market your music on social media. If you're somebody that wants to get consistent forever money and residual income, you're on Instagram. Go ahead and click that link up top. You're on YouTube. Click that link in the box. Make sure you watch another video of mine after this. Mouth the pond. Y'all stay true. Scrub. 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 Group82University.com.